Yo, what is going on guys? So today we are back in the Greenville revamp and we are looking at the best SUVs for drifting or doing donuts. So we're going to get right to the video. The first car on the list here is going to be the 2018 BMW X3, I believe. So you, to be able to do donuts in this X3, you do have to go for the base model trim, which is the rear wheel drive 2.0 T X line trim. None of the other trims are rear wheel drive, which means this is the only trim you can do donuts in, unfortunately. Unless you can find a way to do all wheel drive donuts, but you'd have to hit me up if you can do that. Alright, so let's hop into this thing. Meaning this is base model, doesn't have the most realistic lighting, but... And it also doesn't sound too good, but just a quick look at your lighting. You have brake lights, turn signals, reverse lights, running lights headlights and turn signals in the front all right so we're gonna stick we're gonna stick in this parking lot for now we may move around a bit this thing doesn't have the sem uh manual mode but it does have semi mode so we're just gonna use semi traction control and ecs does have to be off to do donuts three two one go as you can see no problem, just goes right into it. Uh, it's, it doesn't like struggle or anything either, so this is a really good car to be doing donuts with. Obviously, uh, we, we're, people don't really buy cars to do donuts, but it is fun if you want to do it every once in a while. So, And a lot of people do like powerful SUVs that are able to do donuts. This thing may not be the most powerful, but it is capable of doing donuts, and a lot of people like that, including me. If you're looking to have some fun, just for no reason, you could just break out and start doing donuts in the middle of a parking lot uh, without having to switch cars or anything. And we're gonna hop into the next car. This thing is 50 grand. Next car we're gonna get in is this 2013 Sentinel Adventurer or 2000. 13 Lincoln Navigator. So this is the long wheelbase trim, which means uh, we're going to be doing some very big donuts. Very wide donuts, along with another car on this list, which you, you guys will see in a little bit. We're going to try and do it right here, hopefully. So this thing does have manual mode, which means you just want to put it into manual, t traction control and ECS off, hold down shift, W and S, or W and A, and then let go of shift. And you can see we're doing donuts. Pretty easy for all of these cars to do donuts, since they all do have enough power to easily get out and do donuts, and just drift in general. I'm not the greatest at drifting in Greenville, but I definitely know how to do donuts. And to be honest, I just learned a little while ago, like, I had to learn for this video, because I just never understood any tutorials or anything on how to do donuts in Greenville on YouTube or anything, so I kind of, I watched some videos and then I kind of pieced together the instructions, and yeah, it does donuts. Alright, let's get to the top speed on this thing, we're gonna put it back into sport mode, it's not necessary to try out for the top speed, but I just like doing it in every video, so. Uh, no, we're not gonna go for the top speed. We're just gonna hop in the next car. That car, the uh, Lincoln Navigator, was $27,200. Next on the list, we're gonna go for the 2021 Chevron Camion, which is the 2021 uh, Chevy Suburban. You guys have seen this video before in a Greenville Car Views video. Um, and I, I just decided to put it in this list because it's a more modern car that looks better than all of the other cars and has super detailed lighting. And a lot of people do like driving around big modern SUVs. So I decided to include this one. Obviously, it still can do donuts as all of these cars in this list can do donuts. And for being such a big car, it seems like it does pretty small donuts. Donuts, not don't, whatever I said. And that is a very good thing if you were in a small, confined area. 
I did press shift, which messed up my perfect donut. But, um, yeah. And just to get out and drive here real quick. You guys already saw the review on this thing. Hopefully. Uh, sorry about that. But, yeah. And finally, this thing costed $60,795. And finally, uh, the 1998 Ford Explorer, I believe this is. I decided to include this on the list because it's a super cheap SUV and a lot of people don't have a lot of money. Look at that camber, sheesh. I don't know why. This thing looks like it's slammed. Alright, let's do this. Put it into manual mode, third gear. It's best to do it in third gear, but uh, I believe you are able to do it in other gears. And donuts. This one has probably the most uncontrollable donuts. As you can see, they're, especially when you're starting, they just, they're just all over the place. Not really a bad thing, but it is uh, super fun to do that if you're in a big area that you can do very uncontrolled large donuts in there. I don't know why this thing has so much camber. That's just ridiculous. Honestly, I kind of like this thing now. I'm not really the biggest fan of Ford, but this thing is not terrible. But yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did smash the like button, please consider subscribing. Go check out one of these four cars in Greenville. I forgot to mention this thing did cost $3,800, which is $3,800. Super cheap, no game pass or anything. So I'd recommend checking out one of the one of the four cars I mentioned in this video if you're looking for a beautiful SUV that can do donuts. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button. Please consider subscribing. Go join the Discord server. I'm a good fan server. Go subscribe to my friend Supercharge, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.